Hello and welcome to Austin, Texas, one of our favorite stops on the tour. And today, Daryl K. Royal Stadium is packed and revved up, ready to make noise for the Texas Longhorns. Both teams have circled this game on their schedule. Two of college football's elite colliding here in a matchup of top five teams early in the season. As we'll see the number five team in the country, the Georgia Bulldogs, taking on the winners of four straight, the Texas Longhorns. For EA Sports College Football, I'm Chris Fowler, joined here in the booth by Kirk Herbstreit. Kirk, let's get to the action on the field. Turn it from near the goal line. To be tackled at the 17. Strong job by the coverage team. So Georgia's offense is going to get the chance to start this game off. And Kirk, here comes the star tight end. There's so much emphasis in college football on using this position creatively. And man, this guy's as good as any of them. Yeah, you nailed it, Chris. We've seen tight ends have a big impact in college football in the past, but what this guy is doing right now is unbelievable. Speed of a wide receiver, size and power of an offensive lineman. We're looking at a freak out there today. On first down, they'll keep their running game churning. The defensive coordinator this week all week telling us about gap integrity, not giving this running back any creases at all. Really sound defense on that play. Solid game, moves the ball to the 36. It's early, but this crowd is fired up. Listen to this noise here. This is going to be tough for the visitors today. Bringing pressure. He's going to be brought down by that ferocious pass rush. Nice sack. This is exactly how you can slow down the momentum and the rhythm of an offense. you got to get some tackles for a loss and some sacks. This time, they come up with a sack by getting after that quarterback. And the Bulldogs will line up to kick it away. And the offense will have to punt for the first time this afternoon. And that sets up a return. He's brought down, but a good effort to make something of that return. The Longhorns offense out there for their first possession. If there's one guy in this defensive side group who can be a game wrecker, it's this elite pass rusher, very much on the quarterback's mind today. Yeah, Chris, but it's going to be very tough. This quarterback does a nice job of moving around in the pocket, and also he's going to have an awareness of exactly where this guy is and have a clock in his mind about how quickly that ball needs to get out. Here's the second down play. Dropping back. It's yours. Receiver makes the grab. That's a big game before he goes out of bounds. It'll move the sticks more than enough for a first down. Offense will set up on first and ten. Testing the right side here. Oh, there's the stiff arm. He's brought down, but not before crossing midfield of the 42. Longhorns line up on first and ten. Out of the shotgun, he hands it off. It's a one-yard game, second and nine coming up. That's the wide receiver coming in motion now. Grab behind the line. It's fun. And he's going to run out of bounds behind the line of scrimmage. Wanted no part of contact on that play. Dropping back. He's going to throw for the first down. Defense is coming after him. He's going to pull it down and run. To bring him down short of the marker. And now it's going to be fourth down. Longhorns will line up to punt it away. And the point goes out of bounds. That's a great job. They'll spot it down around the five-yard line. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. The last possession, they were forced to kick it away. Can they finally get things going this time? Defense surrounds him. Just a short gain on that completion. And wow, listen to this crowd noise. This stadium is vibrating. That's why this is such a tough place for visitors to play. Grab down the middle. It's ETN. And uses his speed to pick up solid yardage. First and ten play coming up. 
Handoff from the shotgun. The senior able to make the stop after a short game. Second down after that run on the previous play. And now they'll run it on the draw. Six yard game sets up a third and four. Scanning the field, it's back. Looking to make a play deep downfield. Deep ball is caught for a huge gain here. They could not stop him. He's in. Touchdown, Georgia. This guy can do it all. We've seen him go behind coverage and make plays downfield. We can see him catch the ball underneath just like this. And when he catches a football, he is so dangerous after the catch. This one leads him into the end zone for the six points. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. PAT is good, so it's 7-0. The kickoff team on the field now is a get set to send this one away. Fields it inside the five-yard line. And he'll be tackled after a solid effort on that return. The Longhorns offense takes the field. The last drive stalled. They were forced to punt it away. Let's see what they can come up with this time. Let's it go quickly. Physical defending. That one falls incomplete. Brings up second down. Pre-snap motion from the offense. Play action fake. Looking to throw. The pass rush closing in. And the junior gets home making a sack there. Boy, great shot here by this defensive lineman from Georgia using his hands and his speed to close in on the quarterback and come up with this sack. And, man, they've had some great ones over the years, Chris. As you know, starting with our guy, David Pollock, who had as good a career in his time in Athens as anybody who's ever put on that uniform. Richard Seymour, a brilliant career with the Patriots, but it all started in Athens. Jalen Carter, just an enforcer up front. And I even throw in Geno Atkins, who had a great career in the interior of that Georgia defensive line. He's going to take off here. Could not get there on the scramble short of the marker. And now a fourth down decision coming up. The Longhorns will have to kick it away. Look at to kick it away for the second time. He'll call for the fair catch here. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. Remember last time they scored a touchdown. Can they keep clicking here? Or will the defense come up with a stop? Breaking free at the 35. Takes it out to the 44. That's good for a first down. A running play gives the offense a fresh set of downs. Running game is working. They'll stick with it on first down. Tackle up near midfield at the 48. The game makes it second and medium. Dropping back. It's back. And he'll loft it to the end zone. And it's incomplete. He got away with one there. A dangerous throw. After the incompletion, they'll face a third and six. Dropping back. Looking to throw for the first down. Running out of time in the pocket. Oh, they've got him for a sack. A big play made by the junior. Good pressure here by this defense, but it felt like the quarterback held on to the ball a little bit too long to come up with that sack for the D. The Bulldogs will line up to punt it away. And he'll kick it away now for the second time. Fielding the punt, looking to improve field position here. Returner is blocked now. It's a start with the next drive. Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. This group is coming off a quick three and out. Can they put something together in this drive? That run moves the ball across the 35. Here's the snap, looking to throw. 
Hip caught behind the line. It's Baxter. And he's tackled for a loss after the catch. The defense all over that one. They've got him, but that completion good enough for first down yardage. Well, Kirk, it's Georgia on top so far. And at the end of the first quarter, let's check out the stats so far. They flipped into the field. We're ready now for the second period. Longhorns have first and ten here. Here's a handoff on a counter. That's a nice tackle there by the senior. What's the play call here on second down for this offense? From the shotgun, handoff inside. Minimal gain brought down short of the marker. Challenging spot for the offense. It's third down and long in the 45. Dropping back. We're going to throw for the first down. Pressure is coming. And he's brought down. Offense going backwards with the sack. Chris, that's on the offensive line right there. They definitely have to be feeling responsible because it's almost like you didn't protect your little brother back there. The Longhorns will have to Number punt this one away. In punt formation to kick it away. And the returner brought down by the coverage team. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. Forced to punt last time. Trying to add points. Build the lead right here. Handoff here from the shotgun. They pick up four. So second down and six coming up. Ball handed off. And just a short gain this time. They're able to get him down. Empty backfield. Offense spreading the field with five wide. Looking to throw. It's back. Receiver makes the catch. They bring him down, but he was fast enough to get that first down yardage. A new set of downs after that completion. And they're moving the receiver now before the snap. Breaking free at midfield. And he's brought down, but not before he gets first down yardage. The dogs are moving quickly down the field. Keep it on the ground. There's the handoff. Get some space around the 30. Finally brought down, but the offense moving close to the red zone here. Big runs like this are just demoralizing for a defense. It's one thing to give up big plays over your head against the pass game. When teams can run the ball and pick up yards like this, it really affects the team's mental psyche and their confidence. And you'll start to see some missed tackles following a play like this. Georgia has moved into the red zone. And there's the handoff. And they'll bring him down after just a short pickup. An important third down conversion coming here in the red zone. They'll try to run for the first down. They bring him down after a gain. Looks like they'll spot it into short of a first down. So the decision is to not go for it, but settle for three. Here comes the field goal team. The field goal is good. And that will extend their lead even further. Chris, they get the three points, but looking back at it, fourth and inches. Pretty conservative call there. I really thought they would have gone for it. So after the field goal, the kicker out there again to boot it away. Texas. And here's the return from inside the five. Stop at the 22. That's pretty solid coverage there. The Longhorns offense takes the field. And before
missed a punt it away last time. So let's see if they can get clicking in this possession. Grab near the sticks. It's golden. They get him down at the 41, but that's good enough for a first down. Looks like a man is down on the field after the last play, so we'll take a timeout. So one play moves the ball to the 41, another first down. They're going to run it. Defense makes the stop after a five-yard gain, so second and five. The Longhorns looking to crank up the tempo a bit. Inside give now from the shotgun. They stop him, but it's a first down. A running play gives the offense a fresh set of downs. And they'll run it out of the shotgun. Fighting off the defender. They tackle him, but the game moves the ball to the 36. The offense finally producing here. Sets up a first and ten. Boy, just a beautiful hole here opened up by this offensive line. And Chris, the more I watch this Texas running back, the more I'm starting to really appreciate things like his vision and instincts as a ball carrier. You know he's got that combination of power and speed. When you start to watch him run this football, you can see why defensive coordinators around the country are very nervous when they have to go up against him. And the defense able to hold him there to a short game. So now it's third and short in the 30. Chance for the defense to make a play here and perhaps force a field goal attempt. It's a draw to the back. And the defense smothers him for no gain. So on fourth down, the decision is to trot out the field goal team. The attempt from 47 yards. And he's got it from 47 yards away, showing off the deep range. The snap, the hold, the kick, everything there. Perfect to put three points up here for the offense. Following the field goal, the kickoff team is out there now. They'll return it from inside the five. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. The last possession, they moved it, but settled for a chip shot. So it's sort of an unsatisfying result. We're going to do more here. We'll try the ground game here with the running back. We're able to bring him down quickly. Second down play coming up. Looking downfield, it's back. Lofting it toward the left sideline. And the pass is dropped. Would have been a big game, but he couldn't hold on. So the offense getting set. This is not where you want to be against this defense. Third and long. The pocket breaking down. They trap him and sack him back at the 10. Interesting call here by the defense in their dime set with six defensive backs. Instead of manning up and applying pressure on the receivers, they sit back, make it tougher on the quarterback, make him have to read their zone coverage. He gets confused and allows the defensive line to get to the quarterback. The dogs will bring their punt team on the field now. Looking to flip the field here. They'll punt it from inside their own 10. Oh, and he's got some space here. Makes the defender miss. They finally get him down, but that's a solid return. Good work by the return man. Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. They settled for a field goal last time out. Let's see what they can do this time. In the clear at the 25. Tackle made at the 24-yard line. This offense really threatening now. Fresh set of downs for the offense. First down. Back in motion now. Play action here on first down. He's running out of time here. Caught in the backfield. It's blue. They finally tackle him at the four. That's a solid gain on the pitch and catch. Defense kind of lost the running back here. Makes a nice catch and gets the first down in the process. So we've reached the two-minute warning as this offense tries to take the lead here before halftime. And the wideout goes in motion. Off the play fade, looking to throw the football. And it's caught. Touchdown, Longhorns. 
Perfect timing here by this quarterback. Great read, puts the ball where his man can make a play on it. And they're an extra point away from tying this game up. And they'll set up for the PAT. And there's the point after. Getting set to kick the ball off now. The turn starts from inside the five. They stop him at the 23. That's solid coverage. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. They're coming off a three and out, looking to produce a positive drive here. And looking to throw now on first down. Bringing pressure. And the sophomore's got him for a sack. This is good pressure by the defense, but it just felt like the quarterback was holding on to the ball a little bit too long, which allowed the defense to get home. has been a problem. Another sack sets up second and long. Back to pass. It's back. Catch made on the left side. And he shoved out of bounds with the defense short of the first down marker. So a tricky situation here. Third and very long inside your own 20. How much of a risk do you take? You know this defense could be very aggressive at this moment. And now the defense decides to spend a timeout to regroup a bit. The dogs will have to kick this away. That's his fourth punt already today. And we'll see what he can do on the return. And the return brought down by the coverage team there. First down play call. How aggressive will it be? Look at now throwing here to start the drive. Incomplete. Very lucky to avoid an interception there. Incomplete. Second down coming up. You snap it. Quarterback looking to throw the ball. Pass ball is incomplete. There was a lot of contact. No penalty. Brings up third down. They come to the line. A long way to go for the first down, but needing this crucial conversion right now. And he'll loft this one deep to the left side. And that's incomplete. They weren't afraid to let it fly, but it brings up a fourth down. Longhorns will send their punt team onto the field. Coverage team brings down the return. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. Last time was a quick three and out. Can they get a drive going this time? Makes the grab. It's Love It. The offense will quickly spend a timeout here after the play. First and ten now for the offense. Quarterback drops back, probing the secondary. And it's incomplete. He dropped the first down pass over the middle. Incompletion sets up a second down. To throw, it's back. Defense is coming after him. Down goes the quarterback. It's a sack. Defense spends their second time out to try to regroup. That sack makes it third down. They go with the ground game here. Running back takes the handoff. And the play goes nowhere. Picked up about a yard, but it'll be fourth down. And now a timeout quickly called by the defense as they try to get everybody on the same page here. And fourth down, they'll punt it away here. We'll see what he can do with the return. And they've got the return corralled. This will likely be the last play of the half. On first and ten, looking to throw. Here's a shot toward the right sideline. And it's incomplete. A last gasp pass as time expires in the first half. And that will do it for the first half here. Kevin Connors now has our halftime update. Fellas, you've been calling a first-rate game so far from Austin today. 
and a really competitive game so far. I'm talking razor thin margins in the big statistical categories. And while it may be a broken record, turnovers are the name of the game. The team that limits them, the ones that win that turnover margin, generally speaking, are the ones that have the best chance to get that dub. Either way, it's time to find out. Back to the best in the biz for the start of this third quarter. And the Bulldogs will kick this away to get the second half going. Texas. And the return starts just inside the end zone. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen. That's good coverage there. The Longhorns offense takes the field. First play of the third quarter is a handoff. You know, in an era that we live in right now, everybody wants to spread the field around, try to create space, try to create one-on-one -on -one matchups, and the defense is countered over the years by trying to play out wide. But here's a great example of a defense has the ability to play wide, but still be solid at the line of scrimmage, not give up big run plays. They bring him down quickly, a short pitch and catch to get a little bit closer to the marker. Dropping back, it's yours. Tries to get it to the running back. Looks to his left and makes the completion. Tackle made with a 41. That's a nice game getting closer to midfield. Longhorns will line up on first and ten. Off the play fake, looking to throw. Missed his receiver. It's incomplete. Getting set. Here's second down. Offense moving receivers around now before the snap. Off the play fake, he'll look to throw it. And he lofts it toward the sideline. And the pass is dropped incomplete, but it had a huge gain. Took his eye off the ball. Now the offense facing a third and long from their own 41. The pass rush closing in. They extended the play, but doesn't find the receiver open and goes down. You know, a lot of times we get caught up, Chris, in the one-on-one -on -one battles with the receivers and the DBs. Here's a great example of up front, the offensive line and the defensive line. Who wins that battle? This time the defense wins it and they get the sack. The Longhorns bring their punt team onto the field. On the kick now for the fifth time today. With the return, it's Lovett. He's got an opening. Watch out. He's got great speed. You can see he's a dangerous return man. They finally grab him, but he sets the offense up in a pretty good field position. Off the play fake, looking to throw on first down. Running out of time in the pocket. And it's incomplete. Comes up a little short on that throw. Offense getting set. Second down play here. They'll hand it off. Breaks loose at the 40. He stopped, but he gets a first down. A running play gives the offense a fresh set of downs. Looking to pass, it's back. Pressure is coming. The pocket breaking down. And it falls incomplete. The defensive pressure hurrying to throw that time. Second down after the incompletion. There's the snap. They'll set up to throw. Grab behind the line. It's Lovett. And he breaks the tackle on the way to a solid game there. So now from the 27, the offense faces a third and short. How aggressive will they play it? There's the snap. Quarterback setting up to throw. Over the middle, it's Young. And he's brought down, but he does have enough for the first down. And here comes the noise. This crowd is trying to inspire this defense to make a big red zone stop. Doesn't get rid of the ball. Trapped for a huge loss. Goodness, that is usually a drive killer. If I'm on this offensive line, I would not want to look at the game film after their performance today. It's almost like they've been moonwalking backwards the entire game, getting pushed all around by this defensive front. Chris, they've already given up six sacks 
alone in this game. We'll see if they can overcome the sack. Second and very long. There's the snap. Looking to throw the ball. Gets rid of it on the move. Grab down the middle. It's Lovett. They bring him down. That's a very solid game, but still well short of the first down. Now it's third and short in the 21. Defense trying to make a stand here and prevent a touchdown. Down he goes. A sack. This offensive line flat out cannot handle the pressure of this pass rush. We've seen it demonstrated time and time again to the tune of Chris, get this, seven sacks in this game so far. So here on fourth down, out comes the field goal team. This will be a long-range attempt, 51 yards out. Right down the middle. Boy, this guy has such a strong leg. No problem. Up into the net from 50-plus. So after coming away with Number three in that drive, the kickoff team is out. And the kickoff will be returned. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. The last drive, they came up empty, had to kick it away. Can they come up with something here? Pop over the middle. It's Bond. And he's brought down, but there is a penalty marker out there. Let's check out this call. <laughs> and the head coach will decide to accept the penalty and take the yardage. First down here for this offense. Here comes a handoff. A game good for just a few yards. The defense swarming to the football. Second down after that run on the previous play. And now the running back's got it again. Tackled behind the line. It's a loss of two. Well, a serious challenge for this offense. You don't want to be in third and long inside your own 20. How much of a risk will they take to try to pick up this first down? And he's going to float this one to the right side. Oh, and he can't quite hold on. A great chance for their first interception here today. But it's going to bring up fourth down. They'll kick it away here. And here's the fair catch by the return man. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. They got points on the board last time thanks to a long-range field goal. Pre-snap motion from the receiver. Makes a quick catch. Finding some room with the 25. Four set of bounds after a big game. This offense set up for the first Chris, all week they heard how fast this guy is the defense coordinator told them they watched the film they've seen this guy a lot but i think the reality is seeing it now in person i think it surprised them they've got to make some adjustments to their defense or this guy and his speed will continue to have a field day oh it's dropped off the tip by the defense there it's going to bring up second down after the incompletion on first down we're going to throw it again grab behind the line it's etn They'll actually lose yardage after the catch. The defense all over in that time. Now in third and very long, looking to throw. He's running out of time here. A sack in the play could not escape the pass rush. Great call here going with that nickel defense, giving you more speed on the field in that third down and long. Nowhere to go. Gave the defensive line plenty of time to come up with that sack. Now it's fourth down and long. So here comes the kicking team on the field. They'll settle for three. This will be about a 53-yard attempt. Let's see if he can get it there. Field goal try, no good. And the lead stays at three after the miss. Now that's going to go down as an empty possession for this offense. No points as he's off target. Now you can see he's hanging his head. Poor kicker. offense takes the field they're coming off a quick three and out so looking to put something together on this drive with a little more urgency 
First play of the drive, they look to the right. And the defense swarms not much of a gain on that completion. Second down after that run on the previous play. Back goes in motion now. Let's see how the defense adjusts. Caught behind the line. It's blue. And he's brought down, but they went backwards after the completion. Good work by the defense. They're backed up here, trying to make something happen on third and long. Bringing pressure. Escapes the pocket. Quarterback gets down to avoid the tackle. Longhorns will bring their punt team onto the field. He's on to kick it away, helping his team with field position. On the return, it's Lovett. The coverage team able to bring the returner to the ground. And the Bulldogs offense is back out on the field. No doubt the last drive was deflating. They had to settle for a field goal attempt, but missed it. On first down, it's play action. Quick throw to the left, and he's got it. He has first down yardage at the 46. Tackle made, but a strong arm throw by the senior quarterback. Receiver in motion now. Using the ground game here. Tailback has the handoff. I know this defense worked very hard at halftime to come up with answers on how to try to slow down this running back after the big first half. And he's already at it again. And as we take a break to flip ends in the field, let's take a quick look at the current national rankings. Let's see if this sets up as a classic finish. Now it's second down here. Fakes the handoff here, looking to throw it. Fires it to the wideout. Beautiful catch right near the sideline. Gets the foot down. Georgia getting set with a first and ten now. Back to pass. It's back. Here's a shot toward the end zone. Tried to press the ball deep, but it's incomplete. Offense getting set up. Here's second down. And he's back to throw again after that incompletion on first down. From the pocket, delivers over the middle. They bring him down after a short gain there. So now it's third and short from the 23. Potential four down territory. Let's see what the third down call is. Defense is coming after him. After all that running around, they've got him for a sack. Well, I'll be honest, Chris, I'm really surprised he's trying to get outside like this to try to make a play. He's not the fastest at all. I think he was just desperate to try to come up with a play, and man, it did not work out. That is a significant loss for the offense. So on fourth down, out trots the place kicker in a very big spot here. And he's made it from 50 yards out, showing off the deep range. Boy, and this guy had plenty of leg here, too. Chris, you remember the days when a kick from 50-plus was a major accomplishment? Now these guys knock these out like they're almost automatic. Come away with three points on the drive, and now the kickoff team will boot it away. Texas. Returner decides to field it. He'll be tackled at the 18. That's good coverage there. Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. They were held to a quick three and out last time, looking to put together a positive drive here. Opening play of the drive, quick throw to the left. And a big game before he goes out of bounds. The offense keeps churning, gets a fresh set of downs. That's an important first down on that running play. Gives it to the back. They tackle him behind the line, a loss of four. He went backwards on first down, so second and long for a 24. Moving the receiver around pre-snap. Same tailback, another carry. And they bring him down after a solid gain, but it's still well short of the first down mark. Offense sets the formation. It's third down. 
Here's a fumble way behind the line of scrimmage. Defense falls on the ball. Crucial takeaway. I think that's on the quarterback and the offensive line. They were breathing down this quarterback's neck before he could even recognize that they were there, and they were able to knock it loose. And the powerful Georgia offense is back out on the field. Crucial possession. This game just got tighter. They love to play keep away, chew on the clock. How will they call it here? Looking for six. Catch made in the end zone. Touchdown, dogs. Georgia. That is great job here by this offense, taking advantage of a big opportunity provided to them by their own defense after that turnover. And why wait? They get aggressive, make the throw, and it pays off for a touchdown. Now a two-point conversion attempt coming up. And they're trying to punch it in here. And he makes it into the end zone to add two more to the lead. Kickoff team is on the field to boot this one away. Georgia, 24, Texas. Texas. Fields it just outside the goal line. Tackle at the 22. Good job by the coverage team. And the Longhorns offense takes the field. That fumble in the last possession set up a touchdown. Can they bounce back from that costly error here? Caught on the outside. It's Baxter. And he's out of bounds after decent yardage. Pass caught. Second down now. Off play action. He's looking to throw. Looking for the wide out. Oh, it's picked off. What a play. Not much on the return there, but the takeaway will set up the offense at the 38. Boy, would this quarterback love to have this one back. They're trying to work themselves back into this game here in the second half, and the defense comes up with a big turnover that could be the nail in the coffin. And the Georgia offense is back out on the field. And the ball is handed off out of the shotgun. They've got him after a seven-yard game, so second and three. Dropping back, it's Beck. The pass rush closing in. Receiver looks it in, it's complete. Tackled, but only after picking up a fresh set of downs. Georgia now operating in the red zone. On the shotgun, it's a handoff. And that's a solid gain before the defense able to bring him down. So here comes second down now. Every play important down here in the red zone. And the tailback's got it again. And he'll make it in for the score. Touchdown, Bulldogs. How important was that no touchdown, more. Kirk? It's now a two-possession game here in the second half. It's a great job with this offense with their execution and having situational awareness here in the second half. They now have, as you said, Chris, this two-possession lead. they got a great chance to finish it off and get a win. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. Extra point up and good. A three touchdown lead now here in the final quarter. Here's the kickoff team. Let's see if they give the returner an opportunity to bring this back. He'll return it from inside the 10 yard line. And he stopped at the 19. Good job by the coverage team. Okay, the offense comes back out on the field. This drive is important. Last one ended in an interception. Let's see if they can get it going here. And he floats this pass deep down the right side. And it's picked off. He throws it right into double coverage and pays for it. 
And they bring him down. Great play by the defense, but there is a flag on the field. Let's see if the play stands. So that is a call to remember. The interception wiped away by a pass interference penalty. On first and ten, they'll look to throw it. Looking for his back. That's reeled in. It's Baxter. Runner scoots out of bounds after gaining decent yards. Important second down play coming up. Brings up second down. And the quarterback dropping back. And the sack is made. That's a nice play there by the sophomore. And just like that, you squeeze the life out of this offense. That's another sack by this defense. They have been in that backfield the entire game and a big reason why these guys are enjoying a lead. Not going to be easy here. Backed up a long way to go for a first down. Scanning the field. It's yours. Running out of time in the pocket. And it's incomplete. They let it fly on third down, but now it brings up fourth. Down late, they'll keep the offense on the field, trying to chip away at this lead. Fourth down, look at a throw for it. Here's a shot toward the right sideline. It's incomplete. The defense makes a big fourth down stop. The offense is set up with excellent field position. Trying to find some room. It's ETN. Run down after a seven-yard gain, so it's second and three. Hand off to the right side. Tackle, but first down. A running play gives the offense a fresh set of downs. There's the handoff. They've got him, but not before a solid game on the ground there. So down here in the red zone, every yard tough to find. Here is a crucial play coming up. Handoff as they try to work the clock here. And he'll be taken down, but he does have first down yardage. The Bulldogs hoping to punch it in here. They have first and goal. First and goal, they'll try to run it in. Touchdown, Georgia! And the route is on. This is just complete domination in every phase. Offense, defense, special teams. Fun to see for this team. Unfortunate on the other side. And they get set now to try the PAT. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. Kickoff team is on the field. Let's see if they give the returner a chance to bring this one back. He's going to try for a return from a couple yards deep in the end zone. And he's tackled at the 25. Same spot it would have been, and he left it in the end zone. The Longhorns offense takes the field. Remember, last time they went for it on fourth down and got stopped, and the opponent went right down the field. See if they can recover from that here. Oh, and he doesn't hang on. Looks like it was deflected before it got to him. That'll bring up second down. After the incompletion on first down, looking to throw it again. Grab down the middle. It's Bolden. And they get him down after the completion. Third down here. Time for perhaps one more play before the two-minute warning. We reach the two-minute warning here. This offense needing to score and then get the football back. Pressure is coming. Incomplete. He was hit as he threw the ball. That's a big third down defensive play. The offense stays on the field, down multiple possessions. Easy choice. Fourth down. He's throwing for it. And now the ball comes out. A disastrous play from the start. Defense jumps on the ball. It's a turnover. Touchdown, dogs. And the defense joins the party with a score. Number 13. Oh, it's your worst nightmare if you're a quarterback. They bring the blitz. He doesn't recognize it. Ball goes on the ground. Defense does a great job of picking this thing up. That's exactly what they hope for. Catch the quarterback off guard. It works out. It gets him a touchdown.
They're set now to try the PAT. The extra point is good, and they stretch the lead a little bit more. Now they get set to kick it away. And he takes this from inside the five. And he stopped at the 20. Tried to make something happen, but that's good coverage there. Okay, the Texas offense comes back out on the field. They need a miracle. A couple of them here in the last couple minutes. Down big. Time is running out. They'll take a deep shot. Downfield shot falls incomplete. Couldn't quite connect there. Second and ten here. Looking downfield, it's yours. The pocket breaking. Nowhere to go. The ball not loose. Defense recovers the fumble. It's a turnover. Touchdown, Bulldogs. A fumble return for six. Potential momentum shift there. They scoop up the fumble and score on it. Boy, you just got to give credit to this defender for locating the ball, getting his hands on it, and then scooping it and scoring. So often you see guys that just want to go down. This guy realized, hey, I got athletic ability. I can pick it up. I'm going to score myself. So they'll try to add to the lead now with the PAT. And the kick is up and good. They tack on a point to their lead. Kickoff team has come on the field now to send this one away. He's going to return it from near the goal line. And he's tackled at the 21. That's when the drive will start. The Longhorns offense takes the field. This has been a demolition, a monumental beatdown. Time to just put the controller down and walk away. Looked over the middle, but it's incomplete. Offense getting set. It's second down. And he's back to throw again after that incompletion on first down. He's running out of time here. Quarterback on the move, trying to make something happen. And he'll be smarter right at the line for no gain. Offense made in reverse here. Now a long way to go to convert this third down. Got him. He's sacked. It is a sack party out there for this defense. Everything going their way. You know that this offense is going to try to throw the football down by such a big margin late in the game. And this defensive line is bringing the heat. They come up with another sack. Good effort by the return man. They get him down, but that's a solid gain on the return. On the ground, it's ETN. What down after picking up five yards, so second and five. Takes the handoff again. And just a short gain here, and that will do it for this ball. So, wow, this is a, a lopsided loss that leaves them with a lot of explaining to do, Kurt, but also they got to get back and solve some problems in a hurry. Yeah, I think this one caught both of us by surprise. We thought it was going to be a lot closer, but one team dominated, and the other couldn't find a way to get back into it in the second half. Plain and simple. And that is going to wrap it up. We enjoyed this one here. For Kirk Curb Street, I'm Chris Fowler, and this has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.